to think that we'd end up where we ended up. I mean, it was it was cool just to get this place. That was a huge God thing, and it's a really exciting time. We launched in October of 2009 here at the Princess Theater with one service, went to two services in October of 2010, almost one year to the date, and then groundbreaking out of the new property in 2013. We got our occupancy permit in September of 2014, and we launched October of 2014, five years. And now here we are, however many years later, you know, launching out as a as being planted. God's hands been on us the entire time. A group of us were just, we had the harsh desire to have a church and we were, well, where could we put one and all this stuff. Back in the 90s, my wife and I were out and I can't remember all the people, maybe Andy and KJ. We stopped right out here on Gap Road. So the, the church is located on, on Gap Road. It literally it was a gravel road with a barbed wire fence and there was cattle. You know, the truck stop was out here, the freeway was in and all that. We just stopped here and we just thought, wow, this would be a good place for a church. And again, this is way back in the 1990s. And so we just, we just, uh, we just held hands and we prayed and we said, Lord, if this is your will, you just save this property for your kingdom. We prayed there for a while and then we just meandered around uh, and, and continued to pray. And it was done more than once where we went out and prayed over this land. Fast forward, after we launched Bethel Prosser, the Bethel elders asked uh, Tim Phillips and myself to look for property. For me, it was easy. I got my pickup, came out here, and I go, whoa, look at that, there's a for sale sign. And this was in probably what, 2009, 2010, something like that. Several years, probably 15 years after we had come out here and prayed for it. I was in the real estate business approximately 35 years, involved in many, many transactions, uh, and lots of stories, but I have nothing that can compare to this. I believe God was involved, helping people make this decision. And obviously he was because look what's here now. I was in the real estate business and I was working for a Coldwell Banker in Prosser and I had this property listed. 7.01 acres, I remember that, for 350,000, I believe. And there was a number, so I called the number. I said, hey, interested in the land, you know, how, how much is the land? 7.1, oh, okay. I told him it was probably more than what the church was probably gonna need, because it was zoned to, to put in residential and duplexes. I end up getting a plat map with the price that it was listed at. He gave it to whoever at the church and they kind of took it from there. I went back and made a little PowerPoint presentation to the elders, talked about it. I was asked, I think, by the elders, well, is there any other place? My response was, no, this is the property. This is, this is where we want to be. The church had all the information uh, about the property. I went down to Richland, went to, to the church there. They gave me the offer. And uh, I can't remember what I said, but I was trying to be as nice as I could that I didn't think there was a chance at all that this was gonna go through uh, based upon what I had it listed and the difference. These people owned the land free and clear and were uh, always dealing from a position of strength when they sold. When I mentioned to EK, Mr. Kalani, that the church was interested, I just saw this look in his eye. He wasn't saying no, go ahead and bring it, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it. But he certainly didn't encourage me a lot. So the realtor called me one day and he goes, well, the owner has decided to offer it to you, the 7.01 acres for 200,000. I said, oh, well, that's, that's, that's cool. You know, I'll, I'll share that. And he goes, but wait, they're gonna throw in another 15 acres. And I go, for how much? No, they're throwing the extra 15 acres in. Okay, well, let me make a couple phone calls and I'll, I'll get back to you. I said, okay, let me know. And they're, they're interested because they know you're a church and they want to they wanna bless you guys. So I called uh, George Mache, who was the executive director at the time. And I said, hey, George, you sitting down? And I said, why, do I need to? And I, I said, yeah, you got, you got to hear this story. And George goes, well, where's the other 15 acres? And I go, man, that's a good question. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know what just happened to be attached. 
we're sitting on it right now. It was a go and at the business meeting, we had to vote on it, of course. And so yeah, at the business meeting that year, we it was voted that we'd buy it and we bought it. Mr. Carlini, it meant a lot to him that the church was gonna be maybe locating here. Like I said, when they accepted the offer, it was amazing. And when they dedicated the land, that Sunday we came out and I, and I brought him out here, he was so moved the way this church has grown uh, and the people that are here, there's so many good people. There's nowhere in Prosser that I'd rather go to church than right here. It's not Bethel Prosser, it's Bethel Lower Valley. And for it to be right by the the freeway interchange, and it was, it's just a great location. This location is not made by man. Years ago, before we even launched Bethel Prosser, there was a group of us praying over this property, not knowing why. And so just seeing the, the fruit of that simple prayer and trusting in the Lord is, is amazing. <laughs>